Just when you thought development on Skin Composer was long over, here's a tutorial video on the latest additions. To refresh the Preview Atlas, press F5 on your keyboard. This is great for seeing a quick update if you've made changes to your source images. Hexadecimal values can be copy-pasted out of the color picker. This is great for interoperability with your favorite image editor. Why can't I come up with these ideas on my own? Tile drawables are now integrated into Skin Composer. Click the Tile button of a drawable. and specify the min width and height. It took me too damn long to figure out something really simple. Did you know that the order you write your classes in a JSON matter? I didn't. Sorry. Anyway, there is a checkbox to determine if your custom classes will be created before or after your UI classes. Say you want to implement your own drawable classes. I have a few practical examples of that. Gradient drawables for backgrounds that don't take up any texture space. Scrolling tile drawables for some cheap visual flair. And virtually any visual effect you can't achieve with the basic libgdx classes. It used to be you would have to implement these in code or modify your skin JSONs outside of Skin Composer. Not anymore. Create a custom class for your drawable. See the previous video in this series. Note that we will leave this box unchecked. Drawables must be specified before your UI classes. Create a new style. Once that is complete, open the Drawables dialog. Click on Custom Drawable and type in a name matching the style name you specified previously. Now you have an ugly little placeholder to use in your styles. When you implement the skin in your app, you'll have all the appropriate drawables loaded. This saves you from a bit of extra code every time you load your skin. I'd recommend this technique for larger projects. Similarly, we have free type fonts as an option in Skin Composer now. If you like specifying your fonts in code, be my guest. Skin Composer can now insert placeholders for free type fonts. Open the fonts dialog and click free type font. Type in a name for the font. Choose a preview font so that it can be displayed in Skin Composer. If you really care about seeing your own fonts in the editor, open the Preview Fonts folder and paste your uh, TTFs here. Fill your styles with these fonts. Now you'll have to preload your skin object with the appropriate free type fonts before loading the skin JSON. That's the way I would recommend for most people to handle free type fonts. If you're really crazy, you can create and export free type fonts directly in Skin Composer. The caveat is that you have to use a custom serializer to implement it. Open the fonts dialog and click free type font. Check mark use custom serializer. Browse for your specific TTF font. This file will be exported along with your skin file. Set your free type settings as you would in code. Just like before, you can use this font in your styles. The tricky part is writing the custom serializer. Thankfully, you can just paste the code I wrote to handle this. Back in the free type font dialog, click more info, 
click copy serializer. Now paste this in place of your skin initialization line. Like magic, you have free type fonts loaded from a skin JSON. It's not very pretty, but this is how it has to be done unless changes are made to libgdx's skin loading. At the very least, you can use this technique to preview how free type fonts are going to look like without writing a single line of code. As always, let me know if you have any questions. Toodles!